Hello, sports fans and football fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I'm back with another game in my Chicago Bears season. As you can see, the Bears, I guess you can see down here, we're three and six. So we're already ahead of the pack in where we were last year because the Bears only finished with three uh, wins for the entire season last year in real life. And our latest game, we actually beat Miami. I, that was a quick play game. I'm not sure how, quite sure how that happened. And if we look at Chicago on the year, we can see that Justin Fields is doing quite well. He is uh, passing. He's 117 for 211 for 1,429 yards. 10 touchdowns and only five interceptions. And in the Miami game, he threw five touchdowns in that game. Running, he is 102 rushes for 591 yards and a 5.8 average and five touchdowns. David Montgomery has 93 rushes for 454 yards and four touchdowns and a two point conversion. And Khalil Herbert has 60 rushes for 278 yards. So the running game is looking pretty healthy, and so is the passing game with Justin Fields doing, in my opinion, a little better than what he actually really did. So that brings up the game that we are going into this week. And that is going to be the game against Detroit. As you can see here, we are manual and we are at home playing the Detroit Lions. And I will set it to play one week. And it will play all of the games except our Lions game because I'm going to play that one. And so it looks like this version, version of Chicago in the Stratomatic world is going to actually finish a little better than the um, Chicago Bears actually did finish. And um, that'll be cool. So, uh, let's see here. Um, yeah. We're going to launch the game. And they are going to kick off, I guess, uh, I guess the, um, but wait a minute. Yeah, I guess they won the toss. All right. So, uh, the Lions offense is going to be Amon Ra St. Brown at, uh, at flanker. Tight end will be Brock Wright. The right tackle will be Panay Sewell. Right guard will be Evan Brown. The center will be Frank Ragnow. The left guard will be Jonah Jackson. The left tackle is Taylor Decker. The second tight end is going to be Shane Z Zilstra. The split end is DJ Chark. The quarterback, of course, is Jared Goff, and Goff uh, last year had a 65.1% completion percentage. 1.2 on interceptions. He's very good at avoiding being intercepted. That's going to be a, a challenge for us. And uh, in the backfield, he's going to have Jamal Williams. Defensively, we are going to have Travis Gibson at, uh, at left end. Left tackle will be Justin Jones. The free safety will be Eddie Jackson. The right tackle will be Armand Watts. The right end will be Dominique Robinson. Left linebacker is Nicholas Morrow. Middle linebacker is Jack Sanborn. The right linebacker is Joe Thomas. Then you've got left cornerback Kyler Gordon. Strong safety, Jaquan Brisker. And finally, right cornerback, Jalen Johnson. 
And I am going to put in the pass because these guys are a good passing team. And that is exactly what they're going to do. Goff is back to throw, and they get the first down. He throws the ball right to the first down marker and gets the first down, even though we were looking for it. I will put in the pass again. This time he runs the ball, and we get him quickly. So he only gets two yards on that. And uh, with a second and eight at his 37, we are going to look for, I'm going to look for the run again. And he does run the ball. And we're not at all ready for that. I don't know why, because I said we should look for the run, and he got 19 yards. I, I uh, hesitate to guess what might have happened if we weren't looking for it. So I'm going to look for the pass here on first and 10. And he is going to pass. Goff is back again to pass. Of course, he doesn't throw many interceptions, so the almost the best we can hope for is that he throws incompletions. Or short enough passes that they don't get a lot of yards. So he's got they Detroit has a second and ten from our forty-four, and now I'm gonna look for the run again. And he passes. And it's gonna be complete. We get him though, but you know, it's still like a sixteen yard or fifteen yard gain. So this is not good. Detroit's just walking right down the field. I'm gonna put in the balance. Let's see if the balance helps us. And it's probably not really going to do that. Jamal Williams gets an inside run for five yards, and they've got a second and five coming up. Second and five at our 24. I am going to look for the run. And there is a penalty, so let's hope maybe that Detroit can kill themselves on penalties. And right there, that's a completed pass. And they let the play go on, so it might even be against us. Seven-yard gain there for Detroit. And, uh, yeah, they're going to take the play because it was on us. So I'm going to put in the balance again. I mean, I don't know. We're just not very good at stopping Detroit. It does not seem like it is. And he gets another first down with another 10-yard uh, pass to Shark. That is a weird name, Chark. All right, so first and goal at the seven for Detroit. I'm going to do a safety blitz. I'm just being crazy here. Safety blitz, and uh, we still give him plenty of time to throw, but he does throw an incompletion. So it's going to be second and ten for Detroit. I am going to look for the run. I think they're going to run the ball. And they do, and we get them quickly. So maybe we can hold them to a field goal. That would be a major, major win here if we can just hold them to a field goal. I am going to put in the pass defense. And he runs, and we don't get him. So we did not hold him to a field goal, as it turns out. So they marched right down the field on us. And we will put in the kick block. And it's going to be 7 nothing Detroit. And Detroit is kicking off to us. There is a penalty on the kick. Be interested to see who that's on. Um, I guess I'm going to accept it. I mean, it never hurts to accept it. So they're kicking again from further back. And we're going to return it. They didn't even ask me. They just said, you know what, coach? We're returning this bad boy to the 40-yard line. So we got good field position. And I am going to start off with... Uh, a long pass to St. Brown, and we will go over our offense in a minute. Uh, 
And that's going to be complete. Nice. This might go for a touchdown. Are you kidding me? No. You are kidding me because it didn't. But it was a great pass. I think Detroit was completely unprepared for that. All right, so offensively, we have um, the guy that just caught that bat pass, e Equinemerius St. Brown, whatever that is. <laughs> Third wide receiver is Byron Pringle. Left tackle is Braxton Jones. The left guard is Cody Whitehair. The center is Sam Mustafir. Right guard is Trev Tavon Jenkins. The right tackle is Riley Reif. The tight end is Cole Komet. You've got flanker Darnell Mooney. You've got David Montgomery in the backfield. And quarterback Justin Fields. And in real life, he completed 60% of his passes and had a 3.5 interception percentage. Um, you know what? I am just going to throw it into the end zone to Komet. And let's hope we just score this and get him quickly it's gonna be the man on the run our man fields was on the run there um and he got he got three yards and that is a plus for us if you can't complete the pass he could be flushed from the pocket and get yards we got a second and goal at the detroit five i'm gonna i can't do a look in pass you know what? I'm going to do a line buck with Montgomery. And it's a touchdown for the Bears. So we tied the game that quickly. I mean, really quickly. Did it on fewer plays than Detroit took. We're going to kick the extra point. Not going to do the fake extra point. And it looks like that's going to be good. So we got ourselves a tie game here. After one possession by each team, it's 7-7. Seven, seven. And we're kicking off. 8.03 left in the first quarter. And we're going to add no. He's going to plow right past that guy, and he's going to plow right past that guy, and he's going to get out to the 40. Uh, so he'll have a first down at his own 40 to begin this series and I am going to put in the pass defense somebody's already tired looks like maybe the center is already tired um, that was a run and it went for a lot of yards from Jamal Williams 14 yard run for that man so we're going to look for the run on first down here and we're off sides that is not good at all. Because we did stop them. It would have been nice. But it looks like we were the ones offsides. So they got a first and five at the 41. I am gonna, I'm going to look for the run. And we're offsides again. Come on. I mean, it's going to be hard enough to beat the Lions, but we're not going to do it if we keep having penalty, stupid penalties. All right. Um, I'm going to put in the balanced defense. And he passes. Goff passes, and it's good for like 13 yards. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, if they can keep going through us like a hot knife through butter, um, we're going to have to... Our only option is going to be able is going to be to respond in turn, and that's going to be a touchdown pass by Goff. So now we have to turn uh, turn the trick and get a uh, touchdown ourselves again. Puts a lot of pressure on us. So here they are for the kick. I'm going to put in. Let's put in kick defense, kick block. I don't know what the difference really is. So, Detroit is ahead 14-7, to seven, and they are just going through our defense like melted butter. And they kick off. There's 5.55 
left in the um is it the f yeah first quarter all right um i'm gonna go off tackle with montgomery to start this series and there is a penalty hopefully it's on them montgomery got 14 yards so i would refuse it anyway yeah i'm gonna decline the penalty so we have a first and 10 at our 39. Let's go line buck with Montgomery. And he gets some good yards. Nice. Uh, I'm going to do a look in pass here to commit. And I think he caught it for a first down. He did. Six yards and a first down. So, um, you know what? I'm going to change out Montgomery, and we're going to put in uh, Herbert. And I am going to do a line buck with Herbert. And he gets some good yards. He gets five, at least five there. Yep, five yards. So it's nice to know at least that we can move on the uh, Detroit defense too. So let's try a short pass. The problem with doing a short pass like this on first down is once you don't get that short, once you don't get anything on that, you're screwed. But Fields is on the run, and he might get some serious yards, except that guy's coming from out of nowhere to make the tackle. But we're going to have a first and 10 at the Detroit 25-yard um, line. So we have a first and 10 at the Detroit 25. As I said, we will go off tackle with Herbert. And he just gets a yard or two maybe. Yeah, two yards. So that's going to bring up second and eight. Second and eight at the Detroit 23. Let's go short pass to Pringle. And it's incomplete. Man, and it was headed right for him. But it was probably short of him. So we got a third and eight. Third and eight, you're definitely going short pass to St. Brown. And hoping he doesn't get sacked at least, but it's incomplete, so we have to kick a field goal. So we weren't able to match touchdown for touchdown. We're going to have to hope that Santos can make this field goal, which he should be able to. And it looks like he will. But that still means we're losing 14-10. With two minutes still left in the first quarter, it's a lot of action for the first quarter. A lot of scoring for the first quarter. And we're kicking off. And that's going to be out of the end zone. Nice kick. So they're going to have it first and 10 at like the 25, right? Yep, first and 10 at the 25. I'm looking for the run. He's going to pass. And he gets nine yards on that. And a minute nine left in the first quarter still. I'm going to run and I'm going to look for the run and key on Swift. Which probably is not going to be a running play. Oh, it is. It is. And we knock him back in the backfield and get a minus one yard on there. So let's look for the, um, uh, you know what, I'm still going to look for the pass. We got to look for the pass. No, he runs the ball.
Jamal Williams, 19-yard run. He's already done that, and he's done it now again. And as you can see, by the way, this is what everybody's doing on the day, what a guy is doing on the day after he runs a play. And Jamal Williams has seven runs right now for 65 yards. So, yeah. I'm going to look for the run. And he does a screen pass to the running back. Screen pass, flat pass. So they've got a first and 10 at our 38. I'm going to look for the pass. And he does pass the ball, and we get the guy. We get the receiver right as he catches the ball. So that's only a three-yard gain. I'm going to look for the run. I'm going to look for the run, and I'm going to key on Jackson even though it doesn't look like maybe. Oh, no, he is running it, and that was a great idea because Justin Jackson just lost some serious yards. Goff, by the way, today is 9 of 11 right now for 99 yards and a touchdown, so he's having a great day. We are going to definitely look for the pass, and hopefully we can stop him. Uh, we got some good coverage there, and we do stop him before he gets to the first down marker. Now let's see what Detroit decides to do. Are they going to kick a field goal? No, they're going to go for it. Wow. All right, well, I am going to look for the run and Keon Williams. And we're off sides. You've got to be kidding. Well, they're, they're going to refuse that anyway. 15-yard gain. Uh, 12.54 left in the half. I am going to look for the pass. And he is passing. But, again, he doesn't throw interceptions. So the best you can hope for is to just get his receiver down or knock it down and have it be incomplete. They get seven yards right there. And uh, they have a second and three at our eight. I am going to look for the run in Keon Williams. And he does run it with Williams, and we do get him in the backfield. So that's a minus one yard, so it's going to be a third and four coming up. Third and four, you got to look for the pass, I guess. Although if he runs it, then we're just screwed basically but he passes it into the end zone for a touchdown this is a crazy game uh, they're going to kick it I'll put in the kick defense it's about to be 21 10 Well, you know, I mean, if we can't stop him, that's going to be a problem. That's going to be, it's going to be problematic if we just cannot stop the Detroit Lion offense. And we're going to get the ball on the 25 first and 10. I'm going to try a long pass again. Let's go long to Mooney. And uh, maybe, and it is, it's complete. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> oh, my God, down to the 19-yard line. I, I would not have thought that Fields could complete two long passes in the same game. And, you know, even this year in real life. So Fields today is 3 of 5 for 114 yards. You know, I'm going to just keep the pressure up here. We're going to go short to Pringle. And he catches it, and he gets it down to the six-yard line. So we got a shootout at the OK Corral here. We have a first and goal from the Detroit Six. 
I'm going to go line buck with Montgomery. And he gets a couple yards. I am going to go off tackle with Herbert. Second and goal. And he's going to, he, he reads that and he's got it in the backfield in uh, minus one yard. So we have to do a short pass. You know what's coming up. Short pass to St. Brown. And that's incomplete. Yeah, he's great at com throwing the bomb, but he can't complete a short pass. So we're going to have to kick the field goal. And uh, we will, and it's 21-13. But if we can't stop Detroit, it's not really going to matter. So there's 9.06 left in the half. 21-13 Detroit. That's, I mean, that would be like a final score, but it's just the, with the first half not even over yet score. Um, I'm going to look for the pass, and I'm going to double team St. Brown. And that doesn't work at all, because he runs the ball. But we do get him pretty quickly. That was nice. Three yards for Justin Jackson when we weren't even looking for it. Um, I am going to look for the pass. And he is going to pass. And see, now when I look for it, he gets like 15, 18 yards here. 15 yards, yeah. So we have a first and 10, or they have a first and 10 at their own 43. I'm going to look for the run. He's passing, and he's going to do a, an outlet pass to the running back. He's going to get a ton of yards, yada, yada, yada. Same old story. We can't stop Detroit. We can't stop Detroit. Now, bear in mind, we beat Miami 37-10, so we stopped Tua in that um, Miami offense. I mean, shut them down. I wish I could have seen how that game played out. I probably, well, maybe I could. I don't know, but go back and watch it. But there's a run. I'm looking for the run, and it doesn't matter. They're just going to get yards. Craig Reynolds stakes the ball for 13 yards. I thought he played for the Astros in the 80s. But anyway... Um, <laughs> it's 21-13. He has a first and 10 at R31. I am going to, I'm going to do an all-out blitz. Let's see what happens when I do an all-out blitz. I mean, I don't know what to do. I, I just don't know what to do to stop him. He gets five yards there. Uh, I'm going to look for the pass. Put in a pass defense. And he runs the ball. And we get him right at the first down marker. So he gets five yards on that. And he will have the ball to 21, first and 10. At the Chicago 21, first and 10. I'm going to look for the run. I'm going to key on Reynolds. Yeah, maybe his running backs are tired. Maybe they're getting tired and that's what's going on. Well, we were looking for the run. And we were even looking for Reynolds, and he still got five yards. That's how bad this defense is. But again, we only allowed Miami ten points. Uh, I am going to look for the run. And he's going to pass. And he gets the first down. And so now he's going to have a first and goal at the nine. There is 525 left in the half. I'm going to look for the run. I mean, I, it doesn't really matter what I put in. Because he's whatever it is, he's going to work around it and get a touchdown. 
So a nine yard pass to Reynolds. I'm going to put in the kick defense. And it's going to be 28 13. Now we kind of have enough time here, 451. We've got enough time to try to get a score, and then we'll get the kickoff too in the second half. There is again a penalty on the kick. Hopefully it's on him. Okay. Let's see if we return it to, you know, some kind of a decent yardage situation. It's kind of decent, 27 yards to the 27-yard line. Let's throw it long. Let's do it. Long to uh, long to St. Brown. And this is going to be Justin Fields on the run, and he doesn't get very many yards. He only gets a yard, as a matter of fact. So that didn't really kill us, so let's try it again. Long pass to Claypool. And he has to do an outlet pass, and it's complete for six yards, and we have a third and three. Uh, third and three, let's go draw play with the quarterback. Ah, he got stopped immediately. Come on. This is Justin Fields. He got a yard. Oh, boy. Fourth and four. Uh, 241 left. I, you know, I got a punt, but, I mean, with his, we can't stop him. So, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have. Forty-five yard punt, no yard return. Gonna look for the pass. And he is passing. He wants to get a score before the half. With Detroit leading here, twenty-eight thirteen, as the first half is starting to wind down. And there is the two minute warning right now. I am going to look for the run and he passes and we get him in bounds I'm gonna look for the pass He is passing, and he's back and forth. He's running around. This is Goff. We can't catch Goff. That's not a great sign. But we did. We got. I think we got him in bounds. But I mean, hell, he got six yards, and he's 19 of 21 passing for 206 yards and three touchdowns already. So they've got a second and four. And uh, Goff has one run for the six yards. I'm going to look for the pass. And he runs it, and we get him immediately. So that's a good sign, one yard pickup. Um, so they're going to have a third and three. Although, you know, I, I'm not really confident we'll be able to stop him. But I am going to look for the pass still. And he runs it. And he's going to run it diagonally out of bounds. But we stop him before he gets out of bounds. Right now he's got a long field goal. If he tries a field if he has to try a field goal. I mean the only thing that's going to stop him from getting a touchdown basically is the is the clock. They've got a first and ten at R29 with 52 seconds left, and I am going to look for the pass. 
and he does pass, and it's incomplete. So now he's got a second and 10 at the 29. I'm going to look for the pass. And he does pass, and he gets out of, I think he got out of bounds there. And he got the first down. Again, if he ends up kicking a field goal, it's only going to be because the clock didn't allow him to get a touchdown. There's 37 seconds left. I am going to put in the pass. And he does pass, and he doesn't get out of bounds, I don't think. And who knows, he might just try to get the touchdown and say, if I don't score, I don't score. All right, so they got a first and goal to five with 30 seconds left. I am going to look for the pass. And he does pass for a touchdown. I'll put in the kick block. So he got the touchdown. I mean, even the clock didn't, even the combination of our defense and the clock didn't stop him. Detroit has scored a touchdown on every single possession. 15 seconds left. And I'm going to come out and throw the bomb. That's what I'm going to do. Long to Claypool. Oh, he's off sides. Well... It's a free play. And it's incomplete. And uh, I'm going to accept the penalty because the half can't end on a defensive penalty. And we're going to put in the... Um, Yeah, we're going to put in the three wide receiver thing, and we're going to go long to St. Brown. And it's going to be incomplete. And I don't know if that was the last play or if we're going to have one more. We do. We have one more, and I'm going to put in the three wide receiver thing again. Long pass to Claypool. And that's going to be incomplete. So he'll kick off to us to start the second half with us. The Bears losing to the Lions by the score of 35-13. And we will take a look at the statistics starting the second half. It's a nice return, though. i got to say that. I'm going to get it out to the 34. And let's go look up at the reports, the box score... Goff is 22 of 25 for 235 yards, four touchdowns, no interceptions. Fields is 5 of 10 for 133 yards, no touchdowns, no interceptions. Jamal Williams has rushed it eight times for 64 yards. Craig Reynolds has rushed four times for 28. DeAndre Swift has rushed four times for 23. For us, Montgomery has rushed four times for 26 yards and Fields four times for 23. So, um, I'm going to try a flat pass to commit. And that looks like it's going to be complete and a nice eight yard pickup. Second and two, we're going to go line buck with Herbert. And he gets the first down and a lot more. Of course, 
Detroit would naturally be looking for the pass because they're ahead by a lot. Me, on the other hand, I just want to keep the ball away from him so he doesn't score 70 points. Um, let's see here. We're going to go short to Pettis. I don't even know who Pettis is. There is a penalty on the play. Now, that was complete, so I would uh, decline the penalty if it's on Detroit. But it isn't. So we've got a first and 20 at midfield. Let's go off tackle with Herbert. And there is another penalty. Let's at least hope that that one is on Detroit. Uh, no, it's not. So we have a first and 30. Well, now I'm launching it. We're going to go long to uh, Claypool. And it's incomplete. It's off of Claypool's fingertips. So we got a second and 30. Second and 30. Let's go short to... Short to Pettis. Oh, he's going to be sacked. This is like the worst game I have ever played of Stratomatic football. We have a defense that can't stop the other team and an offense that is, let's face it, not that good. All right, we're going to go long, long to Mooney. And it's going to be Pettit, or it's going to be uh, Fields out on his own running the ball, and I don't think he's going to get that many yards. But let's see. Maybe he does. Maybe he does. Maybe he does. And maybe he just gets a touchdown. Maybe he just says, screw it. Let me just get a touchdown here. But no, he's not going to. But he will be tackled at the six-yard line. He did get a nice 61-yard run there, though. I mean, that's nice. Um, yeah, so let's go line buck with Herbert. And that's going to be a touchdown for Chicago. So this was, <laughs> that was a crazy, I mean, I was ready to punt. I was prepared that we were going to be punting. But no. So uh, let's see. You know what? We really should go for the two-point um conversion because we're down by a lot um and i am gonna go short pass to montgomery did he catch it yes he did <laughs> So, it's 35-21, baby. And we're kicking off. Of course, again, here we go. We're not going to stop him. I should try to guess what I think he'll do and then just call the opposite. I mean, or put in balanced or something. I don't know, because... All right, he gets an eight-yard pass on that on first down. There is 10.38 left in the third quarter. Uh, I'm going to look for the run, and I'm going to key on Williams. That's what he should be doing because he's up by a lot. And we are going to get him in the backfield, so he's going to have a third and like... <clears throat> Third and four with that two yard loss. And uh, yeah, third and four. Now I'm going to look for the pass. Can we stop him for the first time? No, I think he got the first down there. Yes, he did. Right at the first down marker. 
Um, let's look for the run. I mean, he should be running. He's up by a lot of points here. He shouldn't be passing the ball. Although he has a quarterback that doesn't throw interceptions, so it isn't really going to hurt. But anyway, that was incomplete, so they've got a second and ten. I'm I'm going to put in the balanced. I, I don't even know what the balance does, what it's good for, but I, well, eh, well, no, no. He threw a bomb. And it was complete for 34 yards. The defenses really did not show up for this game. I'm going to put in the balanced. Ours especially didn't, but. He completes the pass for like six yards there, yeah. And it is second and four. I'm going to look for the pass. And there's a penalty on the play. And he's going to probably refuse it if it's on, on us anyway. 20-yard run. Oh, but I am going to accept the penalty. So he's got a second and 14 now. I'm going to look for the run. I think he's going to run it on second and 14. No, he's passing. Damn. And it's incomplete. See, the guy was right there, and he would have intercepted on probably any normal quarterback with a normal interception rate. All right, we're going to look for the pass. Maybe we, uh, well, I mean, maybe we hold him to a field goal. Well, no, I mean, he's a little far away for a field goal. I, he could make it. Let's see if he tries it. But we stopped him from getting the first down with the help of a penalty. He is going to try to kick it. Now I am going to put in kick block. I don't know if that's any better than kick defense. But it looks like he made it anyway. And so now Detroit leads 38-21. 38-21 with still seven minutes left in the third quarter. This is the crazy, crazy game. I mean, you got to watch this. You know we're going to lose. But you got to watch it just to see how many, what the final score ends up being. Um, I am going to go, um, we're going to go with a look-in pass. To Herbert. It's incomplete. He, You know, these little penny ante, like, drop the ball off passes he can't complete to save his life. Uh, flat pass to the tight end commit. Nope. That's to nobody in particular. So we got a third and ten. Third and ten, we got to go short. Short to Claypool. And there's a penalty on the play. But he gets the first down. So... Uh, oh no, it was, no, it was on us. We got a third and 20. All right, third and 20, I'm going to go long. Let's go long to Mooney. Detroit knows, they know what's coming. And it's incomplete. So we have to punt the ball, which is going to give them really good field position, as if they need it, because they would score even if we penned them up at the one-yard line. It's a nice punt, though, 48 yards. So Detroit has a first and 10 at their own 37-yard line. I'm going to look for the run. They're up 38-21. I mean, you would think they would just keep running the ball. And 
and eating out, up the clock. I'm going to look for the run again. And he does. And we get him again. Another loss. Let's see if we can stop him now. Uh, third and 12. I am going to look for the pass. And there is a penalty on the play. And we don't, it doesn't matter. We don't stop him anyway. So it's got to be, if, if it's on him, that's great. If it's not, he'll just accept the play. 31 yard play. And it is. So he got a 31-yard pickup. He has a first and 10 at our 19. This is a real difficult game for me to play. i got to tell you to keep playing it. And he, now finally he has a penalty. The closest we've come to stopping him has been when he had a penalty. So he has a first and 15 at the 24, at our 24. Uh, I'm going to do a linebacker blitz. I mean, nothing is working. Just absolutely nothing is working. And, uh, yeah, he's just going to, well, he got a first down. I thought he was going to get a touchdown, but, you know. 421, the third quarter is not even over yet. There's 405 left in the third quarter. I'm going to look for the pass. And it's incomplete. Second and goal to nine. I am going to look for the run. And he's going to pass the ball. And it's a touchdown. So it's going to be 45-21 when he makes this. There is a penalty on the play, though. And I guess it was on us. So it's 45-21. Uh, you know, I'm just going to run with the ball. Let's do that. And, of course, he's not going to go anywhere. Oh, yeah, maybe he will. Well, he got out to the 19. Let's go off tackle with Montgomery. Now, he's not going to expect me to run the ball. And, really, all I want to do is keep possession of it long enough so that he doesn't, like I said, so he doesn't get 60 or 70 points. Second and ten, let's go look in pass to Montgomery. And it's going to be a first down, so we keep the chains moving. That's nice. Minute 54 left in the third quarter. We've got a first and ten at our 29. I'm going to go line buck with Montgomery. He gets stopped immediately, maybe one yard there. Two yards. So we got a second and eight. Um, you know what? I'm going to go with, let's go out of the pro set, and I'm going to go off tackle with Montgomery. And he's going to, yeah, ooh, ooh, he just missed getting the first down there. Okay, so he got six yards. We've got a third and two. Third and two, I'm going to go flat to Mooney. And he doesn't, does he catch it? Incomplete. You know what? I'm going for it. I'm going, I'm sick of this. We're going to go for it. I'm going to go out of the pro set. I'm going to go off tackle 
No, wait a minute. Let's go. We're going to go line buck. Maybe, let's see. Draw play. Draw play with fields. And he's off sides. So we'll have a first down anyway, one way or the other. But he got six yards, so... I might refuse the penalty. Yeah, um, if I accept it, it's my ball in the 42. If I decline it, it's my ball in the 43. You know what? I'm going to decline it. Yeah, I'm going to decline it. So Fields today has six rushes for 90 yards. All right. So let's go looking past Komet. And it looks like maybe he caught it. Yep, he caught it and got five yards. And that's going to be the end of the third quarter. So we're in the fourth quarter. It's uh, Detroit 45, us 21. I'm going to launch it, not to Pettis. We're going to launch it to Mooney. And he's going to have to run it, which is great. That's a great idea. Yeah, let's let's I'm sign sign me up. He got some more yards. He got a 20 yard run there. So now on the day, Fields has seven rushes for 110 yards. Uh, we have a first and ten at the Detroit 32. I'm gonna go short. Not to, no, short to Claypool. Let's try short to Claypool. And it's incomplete. I'm going to go off tackle with Herbert. And he gets some good yards and a first down. So now we're at the 19. We're at the Detroit 19. First and 10 at the Detroit 19. I am going to go line buck with Herbert. And he gets a couple yards. Two or three there. Three. Second and seven. I'm going to go short pass to commit. And he's going to have to run it again. Good news for us. <laughs> it is very good news for us. It's going to be a touchdown. So, nice. And again, I'm going to have to go for two. 16-yard run for him. So he, uh, Fields has eight rushes for 126 yards. And yeah, they knew we were going to go for it. Let's go short pass to uh, Mooney. And it's a touchdown. It's a two-point conversion, really, what it is. But that I'll take it. So it's 45-29. 12-30 left in the game. This is a hell of a game. I mean, the defenses aren't playing very well. Um, yeah, we're going to look for the run. Again, he really should be running the ball. He doesn't have, the computer doesn't have any human inter intuition. So he gets one yard there. I'm going to run and key on Williams. I'm looking for the run and keying on Williams. And he does run with Williams and, uh, you know, even keying on him, he just got five or six yards. Yep. Man. This is brutal. 
So he's got a third and three. I haven't yet stopped him at all, so we're going to look for the run. And he's going to pass it. And it's incomplete. He might punt. Wait, hold on, hold on. It could be a mirage, but he might just punt. And he is going to. And we're going to put in the punt return. This is the first time we have stopped him all game. 11.20 left in the game. And I am going to try to catch the ball and run with it. And we have it first and ten, the third at our own 30. So I am going to do a look-in pass to Pettis. And he catches it for a first down and a little more. Um, let's see. Let's go line buck with Herbert. And he gets maybe two or three yards there. Two yards. Second and eight. Uh, second and eight at our 47. I'm going to go off tackle with Montgomery. He probably was not looking for that, but still held Montgomery to only like two yards. So it's going to be third and six. Third and six, I'm going to do a flat pass to Mooney. And it will be completed for a first down and a lot of yards. Mooney gets 19 yards on that. Nice pass. I mean, as good as Fields has been running, he's 10 of 21 today for 190 yards passing as well. Um, let's go off tackle with Montgomery. Again, I'm just trying to hold the ball and just not have him, you know, get any more points than he gets. A, a touchdown here would be great. A field goal here would be great, you know, if we could do that. We've got a second and nine at the Detroit 31-yard line. Um, I'm going to do a flat pass to commit. 8.25 left in the game. And he does get it, and he gets it for a first down. Nice. Let's go line buck with Montgomery. And he runs it right up the middle. Man, and he got down to the five-yard line. They were absolutely looking for the pass there. 15-yard gain for Montgomery. Let's see if I can do the draw play down here. I can't. All right. Um, I'm going to go line buck with Herbert. And he's going to get a touchdown, Herbert. Khalil Herbert. And again... I'm definitely going to go for the two-point conversion. Yep. And, um, yeah. So it's 45-35, and let's do a short pass to Komet. And it's incomplete. Come on, man. All right, well, we're down by 10, but that's still not very good because there's only 7.16 left. We have kind of made a game out of it, though. But that is a serious return that he just had. 
He gets 28 yards on that. So they got a first and 10 at their 37. I'm looking for the pass. And he is going to pass. And uh, even though he's going to pass, we still let him have a 14 or 15 yard uh, pass play. Even though we were looking for it. That Goff, he's a good one. All right, we're going to put in the pass defense. He's going to run it. And ironically, we stop him pretty quickly. I mean, four yards, all right, I mean, that's pretty good. But second and six, I'm looking for the run again now. And he does run right up the gut and gets a ton of yards. Um, 506 left in the game. He's got a first and 10 at our 29. I'm going to put in the pass defense. And he is passing. And he does complete it for five or six yards. And I'm going to look for the run. He does run. Gets a ton of yards, maybe a touchdown. Yeah, he's going to get a touchdown. I was, I did say I was looking for the run, right? All right. I'm going to put in the kick block. This has been a, it's, uh, you know what, I said this was a brutal game to play, but actually it has kind of been fun to play this game. 52-35. It's 52-35 with 414 left in the game. And we get a nice return. The punter, though, took us down, I think. 29-yard return on that. We have a first and 10 at our 34. Um... I'm going to go off tackle with Ebner, and he isn't even good. But he gets a, he gets a first down at a 2.9 yard average, and uh, he got 11 yards on that. They probably saw that Ebner was in at running back, and they said, there's no way he's running. Um, I am going to go short to Mooney. The, uh, you know, the other running backs, um, Herbert and uh, Montgomery, are probably tired. So that's incomplete. Three oh three left. I'm going to launch it. I'm going to launch it to Claypool. Well, he's going to have to do an outlet pass, I guess, he decided. And it's going to be... Close to the first down. But not quite. He gets eight yards, though. I mean, and this is two down territory. We're, we're, we're going for it on fourth down. Third and two. 224 left. We're at their 47. I'm going to go line buck with, uh, with fields. And he almost got, he almost got it, but he didn't, <laughs> but really he didn't. Fourth and one, 224 left. Um, not going to call a timeout and Montgomery's in the backfield. So we're going to go line buck with Montgomery and he gets the first down and more. And we maintain possession. And we've got the two-minute warning. First and 10 at the uh, Detroit 40. And I'm going to go long. I'm going to go long to Mooney. 
And there's a penalty. Hopefully it's on Detroit. I didn't see. It's incomplete. But maybe that was the penalty was on Detroit. No. So we've got a first and 20 at midfield. I'm going to do a look-in pass to commit. And that's going to be incomplete. Yeah, he can't complete those little passes. Second and 20, I'm going to go short to commit. And he's sacked in the backfield. Third and 22. You know what I'm putting in. Long. Long to Mooney. There's a penalty immediately. Like immediately. And he gets sacked. So hopefully it's on Detroit. And I will accept it for sure. So now we have a first and 10 at the Detroit 37. Let's go long to Claypool. 37 seconds left here, people. And it's incomplete. Come on. Fifty-two, thirty-five, thirty seconds left. Second and ten at, at the uh, Detroit thirty-seven. Let's go long to Mooney. There is a penalty. Hopefully, it's on Detroit again. As I say, it's incomplete. Going to accept it. So there's 22 seconds left, and we're at the Detroit 12. I'm going to go short pass to Claypool. Oh, they come in and sack me. Come on. I am going to call a timeout, and there's 15 seconds left. Second and 15 at the 17. Let's try a short pass to Pettis. Incomplete. Third and 15 at the Detroit 17. Eight seconds left. I am going to try a long pass to Claypool. And it's incomplete. Let's see if we have enough time to kick a field goal. Because I will kick a field goal. There is one second left, and we, that's exactly, they read my mind. We are going to try to get points and make it look better. And that is it. Game over. So let's look at these stats, because, uh, man. Final score, 52-38. Goff was 29 of 36 for 316 yards and five touchdowns. Fields was 12 of 28 for 209 yards. But he rushed the ball nine times for 127 yards and a touchdown. Montgomery had 11 rushes for 58 yards. Khalil Herbert had nine rushes for 53 yards. For them, Jamal Williams had 17 rushes, 125 yards. 
DeAndre Swift had six rushes for 57. Craig Reynolds had four for 28. And I'll let you look at the, I'm not going to go over all of the receiving stats, but I will let you take a quick look at them. And so that's how it stands. That's how it went. We lost 52-38. And that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.